Hello and welcome to the postpartum weight loss workout. I have my little guy here, Mr. Shiloh, who is two years old. This has been a highly requested workout series that I'm starting right now. I'm gonna take it until the end of the year. So one workout per week for at least three months and then I'm gonna be putting together an ebook guide. And then also if you wanna start with your pelvic floor and start that back up, I have a 12 week program at my website, fitnessformamas.org that you can download for free and it takes you right back here onto YouTube so you can do the workouts with me. And there's also some wonderful resources for that postpartum journey that can uh, sometimes not be so much fun. And we also need that extra support during this time period. So if you need to strengthen up that pelvic floor, go on and head over there and then come back to this when you're ready. Otherwise, if you're ready to get started with some low impact postpartum workouts to get some sweat on, you're in the perfect spot with me today. 20 minutes, we have a warm up and a cool down. We have eight different moves today, four rounds. So we'll be doing two moves per round. How about you will be taking a nice 30 second water break. Mr. Shiloh here with me, who is two years old, and myself, Melinda Patterson here with Fitness for Mamas. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> up here. Add in those arms. Opening everything up here in that chest. Roll those shoulders. We carry a lot of stress and tension there and especially in the postpartum journey and even beyond. Whatever you're doing, carrying baby, carrying toddler, roll those shoulders. Or you're feeding, kiddo. We put a lot of stress up here. Good. Go ahead and reach overhead. Feel a nice stretch in here. Point that toe. Feels so good to be back to recording workouts. I took a couple week break. Took my daughter back into school and give Mr. Shia the one to daycare three days a week. It's been quite the transition. Reach across. If you didn't know already, I do mental health. I have my own private practice and been doing those when you that daycare. All right, bring it to center here. We're gonna be starting with our first move. Just go ahead and walk it out. I'll show you real quick what it is. So it's a march twist. You're gonna be tapping down to your quad. So here, you can get this level or you can even bring it up higher. Go ahead and get started. You can turn your head in the direction, follow your hand. And then to bring up that intensity if you're ready. Exhale as you push down. You'll be really working that core. So depending on where you're at in your postpartum journey, your core may want you here for now until you build that back up a little bit more. And always working on that pelvic floor. Pulling everything up and in on the exhale. work. So proud of you for being here with me today in the shallow. Two and one, rest. Step it out and then we're going to be going and side steps two times one way, side steps the other way. We're going to be adding in arms. We'll start this way. Here we go. One, two. So you can go as fast or as slow as you would like. Really push those arms in. Add in some resistance there. And if you really want to, you can sit down a little bit lower, making sure your weights are in your heels. There you go. Opening up those shoulder blades. Ugh, this one's good. Woo! So this is sister's birthday party. Rest. And then we go back to that twist. Arm march. Arm march. Using your arms, doing a little bit of a march. Here we go. So wherever you're at. So remember, you can be going slower. Try my best, not a 
working those obliques, especially if you're pushing down onto your quad for resistance. You can already feel it in my leg. So no matter where you are in your postpartum journey, you can really get a lot out of this workout with being low impact and bringing up the intensity. Making progress as you go. Woo! Now we go into our new set of moves. So we'll be doing a right reverse lunge. So this is your modifier right here. Or you can go lower, or you can even pick up the pace. Here we go. So you choose your option. You can even keep everything nice and steady right here and work on doing a stabilizing move. Really work those glutes, you can get down lower. So modifying right here. There you go. You'll feel this leg burning because it is working. So you can be hearing go faster as well. You can always switch it up.
arms up on your tippy toes for a calf raise, or you can completely take that out to modify. Go as low as comfortable. Woo! Squeeze those glutes at the top. Get a little hug. Keep it up, you're doing great. Level squat. Here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three,
two, two, three, and then up and squeeze those glutes. So this is where you can be modifying. And if you want to bring up the intensity, get a little bit lower, you can do that. One, two, three. Woo! So always working where you're at and making progress from there. And then for the full on squat, level it. Here you go. Maybe you have this time alone, maybe you're with your kiddo, go ahead and switch. And with your kiddo, I know oftentimes you have to take breaks and coming back to the workout to finish it out is awesome. If you haven't already, please do make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell on our YouTube channel. That really helps to grow our community and then also helps support this channel and what we're doing here to connect and for me to do more free videos and workout programs. Nice. We're going to do a quad stretch. Put your hand on a wall for balance. My quads are really tight and sore. Oh, it feels good. You can also visit me on Instagram at Mentally Fit Mama and Facebook at Fitness for Mamas to follow a little bit along with updates and when new programs come out and a little bit of our personal life. Go ahead and switch. Interweave those fingers in the back. Back. In the front. Drop the chin down. One arm across. Other arm. Good. Stretch out those calves. You can go into a downward dog or you can do one against your wall or door. Good. 
and then hamstring stretch where you're gonna hang on over. So wherever you're at, you can be touching with your fingertips, hands all the way down, or hang. Nice deep breath. Relax the body. Appreciate the work that you were just able to do. One more deep breath. Inhale. And then exhale. Let go of all that stress and that tension that you're holding on to. Walk those feet in and then roll it up slowly. Head comes up last. And then roll those shoulders back. Woo! Thank you so much for being here with me. And then I will see you Monday for our next workout. And make sure to check out fitnessformoms.org for workout programs. And I'm going to be continuing to create more. And if you like baby wearing, I also have baby wearing playlists that you can find in the description box below. Take good care and have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next workout. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.